you needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm gonna be going over the Saturday Legends. Obviously, you guys know every week, every Saturday, the day before Football Sunday, they drop two new legends. And they used to do a limited time legend, but that is now on Fridays. It's the Mutt 10. But as you guys know, there's only one more week of Mutt 10, so I think they might go back to their old format of two regular set legends and then one limited time legend coming next, starting not next Saturday, but the following Saturday, which should be maybe the first week of November, depending on how they switch the format. I don't exactly know how they plan to do that. Um, I don't know if they, maybe they'll start something new similar to Mutt 10 in that sense, or maybe they'll do like a Mutt 10 2.0. I don't really, I doubt it. I think we'll end up going back to set legends. It'd be cool if they start something new, because I really do enjoy the weekly Mutt 10 drop, but we don't really know how they'll go in that. Uh, this is the first year they've done something like this, so we don't really have anything to like look back on and see like what the trend might be for the next thing they'll do in madden as far as on the time legends but for the time being they only drop two on saturdays boys and you know what to do on saturdays saturdays when it comes to the new legends you always want to head over to the auction block and go check the legend prices you never want to buy it's like for me if i'm gonna buy legends on monday or tuesday whatever but if it's a friday night and i want to pick up some legends i always stop myself because i know it'll be a, it'll be a waste of time like i was gonna pick up anthony munoz yesterday but it's really hard to pick up legends on friday because you know tomorrow they'll go down in price and you'll lose value and right now the legends are crazy cheap 145 a lot of guys so i wanted munoz he was like 215 yesterday 220 ish uh, he was more like yeah, 220 230 now at the moment he's 250 that's because it's early in the morning i do imagine by the time 10 30 drops and the legend fantasy packs drop he'll probably be going for about low mid, probably be 200 flattish depending on how the, the legend packs and how many people pull them it all depends on how much people want these legends obviously days where there's very good legend people open a lot more packs so it all depends but i never buy legends on fridays or even thursdays I like to wait for Saturday mornings because you do know that these will come down in value quite a bit and also make sure to be staying on the market and checking out the prices at that time boys. Now as far as the Legend Fantasy Packs go, would I recommend opening them? Probably not. I'm not a big pack guy. Uh, come as my YouTube channel gets bigger and I keep growing, I will be much more of a pack guy but for the time being, probably not. Now guys, before we get into the rest of this video, let's get into a quick little intro boys. If you're new to the channel, make sure down below, hit that subscribe button. We are at 10.3k just about boys. Thank you so much for all the growth as of recently. Let's keep growing the fam. Let's get it to 11k as quickly as possible. Everyone new, hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell. Don't forget, guys, we're still doing the like giveaways. We have not really hit the goal yet. I thought we would have, but I'll still give it away anyway. So I think tomorrow, well, I will end the giveaways, and I'll just give away to maybe two people. So make sure you're commenting down below 50k and dropping a like on the video. If any video hits 500 likes today, I will double, potentially double the giveaway if we hit above 500 likes on the video. But if not, tomorrow, I'll just give away everything anyways to uh, two random commenters. So all you guys got to do is comment down below 50k. Hit the like button, boys. And... That's it. I'm going to pull all the videos. So make sure you're commenting. Make sure, and I guess the more videos you do, the more chance you have. But that's about it. Thank you guys so much for hearing that little intro. Now let's head into, over to Twitter and check out the new legend drops. They are John Henderson. And I believe the other guy was... I'm blanking. Let's head over to Twitter. By the way, I just remembered who the other guy was. And I'm super hyped. I actually really do want this other card. This one, I have to go into stats. But this one looks like a beast also. John Henderson. 32 salary cap boys you guys already know salary cap is not my thing but you guys know that um he's got the cancel out archetype don't know what that means i'm assuming it's like a run stuffing thing he can be trained up obviously because he does have a theme diamond so if you guys want john henderson he's looking very very beastly very low speed but these stats out we've been waiting for stats like this i've been talking about this for weeks every defensive tackle that they have dropped in madden in the last few weeks has had bad block shed and bad and bad pass rushing i've really had no use for those because the defensive tackle is supposed to be two things Oh, at, at its core, defensive tackle for me should be a run stuffer. You should have above 90 block shedding with decent athleticism, even okay athleticism, and just be able to stuff the run. Now, if they can't do that, I feel like they're worthless because that's kind of what you use defensive tackles for. If not, you'd rather just put ends there. But, and if they didn't have that, you'd assume they'd have some pass rushing. But the past weeks, they've been giving defensive tackles 84 block shedding, like 84 power move, which to me is useless. Now, this card is finally living up to the defensive tackle name. He's got, he's six foot seven. That's huge, to be quite honest with you. He's 6, 63 speed, 73 excel. Not the greatest athleticism, but the excel could definitely make up for the speed a little bit. 93 strength, which is huge for moving around some linemen. 89 tackle, 90 play rec, which is huge. 91 block shift, huge. 89 play, uh, power move, huge. And 58 finesse move, I could care less. As long as they have one either finesse or power, I'm happy for that. So, powered up. This guy will have all above 90 stats that you care about. Above, you have like a 94 strength, a 90 tackle, 91 play rec, 92 block shift, 90 power move. So, in essence, this car will be a top tier pass rusher a top tier block shedder, a top tier play rec, top tier tackle. So he's going to be a secure tackler who can pass rush to the quarterback. So that's great because on the interior line, a lot of times defensive tackles get loose. But the thing is with bad power moves, they don't get loose for like two, three seconds. And at that point, a defensive tackle is not going to catch up to the quarterback. 
and make a play by the time the play is broken down but with quick pass rush moves you might actually be able to get there pretty quickly which could actually greatly benefit this card so you can use this card as a pass rusher which i wouldn't i keep him just there as a run stuffer and if he happens to get off i love that like i have demarcus lawrence at defensive tackle if he happens to break it it's awesome he gets the sack but if not he still just stops the run that's all i really care about with inside zone single back and stretch getting a quick block shed off up the middle can really disrupt up 80 yard touchdown into a loss of four that's the difference things like this can make now will i be getting him i'm not entirely sure because i do have d law there and i don't really want to spend coins on the defensive tackle right now but let's head over to the other guy that i'm really really excited for and that is christian okoye i'm super hyped for this card guys i know you guys don't care about fullbacks but we don't really have many i have koi schlesinger which is going to kind of limit whether or not i get this card initially but what if what do you use fullbacks for right now with the way the meta of madden is they're kick returners for us now you guys might not understand what i'm saying everyone scum kicks everyone kicks to the boundaries so the fullbacks return more than like 95 percent of my kicks so for the most part i have Corey schlesinger with like a 77 speed returning my kicks and he actually has had a few kick return touchdowns so Christian Okoye with an 88 speed. I see this guy as a kick returner for me. And not to mention, he has truck. I know he has trucking. He has 90 strength. This guy's going to break tackles on kick return against bench defensive players. He's going to be really, really good for that point. And not just that, when you do actually get a real kick return, let's say with Dion or Tyreek Hill, whoever you have, the fullback usually lead blocks. So you're going to have an 88 speed lead blocker. That's always the issue with fullbacks. When they lead block for you, your kick returner outruns them. You have to like manually throw your fullbacks up the field. If not, they get outran every time. So he'll be able to run ahead. And with that lead block and impact block, he will lay people on their asses initially. He will create, create great blocks and really help in the kick return team game. And that's just special teams. When you get to offense, people love running stretch. If you run like I form stretch or Okoye, he's going to get out ahead of the running back. That's huge because with fullbacks being so slow, when you leave with the fullback, by the time they get to their block, your running backs already probably outran them. And if you wait for the fullback to get there, you might disrupt the play because football's a time game. Just half a second difference of waiting for the fullback to get there could be the difference between a safety closing in on the play coming over the top. So Christian Okoye will get ahead of his blocks on um, pitches. He'll. That's the other thing. When you run like halfback toss and your fullback goes ahead by the time the fullback blocks people already came over the top okoye is actually going to get past line of scrimmage most likely like he'll get he'll he'll arc to the linebacker pass line of scrimmage which momentum is the play forward if you guys know anything about having a slow fullback for me or anyone in general when you tosses the fullback so slow he meets the guy at the line of scrimmage which makes me have to run horizontally and inevitably kills the toss a toss works great when the lead blocker gets upfield because when he gets upfield your running backs able to cut upfield and gain and once you're running north south that's when big plays happen so okoye is going to get upfield make good blocks for you and with that lead block and impact block he can potentially pancake someone he'll definitely hold the block so that, that's kind of the beauty of okoye and that's not even offensively offensively this car could do so much more with a, a heavy panther set a fullback dive that's the other thing a fullback dives although it's a good play when your fullback's really slow, they don't get to the line of scrimmage in time on a crowded line of scrimmage. Okoye's gonna burst right through. He could actually, and not even just that, if he gets past line of scrimmage, he could legitimately run like a running back and still take it even further. He's a big play machine if you use him in the right scheme. I also, I always have fullbacks going on routes, although I, I just block Schlesinger because I don't really want him on a route. But Okoye, a lot of good uses for this, guys. I'm super excited for this Okoye card. I don't know if I'll get him initially. I might wait till his price comes down quite a bit. It's probably like a week or two at minimum. I won't get him off the bat because. I've been preaching this all year. It's never smart to get a new legend card right off the bat. Just think about Lawrence Taylor. People were buying him for 700K. Now he's 200K. People were even like the next week he was 350K. Steve Young was 600K. Now he's 140. I just like to wait for my legends. I have plenty of other players to fill the slots for now. And I also have a Nat Slashinger. So I'm in no rush, guys. Now that's about it for the two legends. Heading over back to the Madden screen real quick. All right. So we're back in the Madden screen, guys. Now, quick little advice. So when the packs do drop, if you guys do plan on opening packs, there's going to be two options. Like I always say, there's going to be the eight uh, the eight bundle of fantasy packs and there's going to be the two fives now remember for a price efficiency the two fives actually is cheaper than the eights so you will get two extra legend fantasy packs but you do not get a topper so in essence you're either going to save like three dollars and get two extra legend fantasy packs or spend an extra three dollars and get a bun and get a topper so whether or not you think that topper is an 86 legend set piece or you think it's gonna be a full legend that's up to you maybe with the month 10 impact you kind of want to be going with this uh the bundle topper so you can get potentially the joe thomas pull that's all on you guys i'm just giving you guys that advice to think about you got either two extra legend fantasy packs which is going to be six total rounds with two extra end rounds which are big or the set piece uh, topper so it's all up to you on what you guys think is more efficient on that end but guys it is about it for the video um so far for the legend drops they were they weren't brand name like they weren't like Deion sanders michael vick type name brandy moss but they were very very good legends these are so i think these are two of the best co-legend drops so far this year because in 
throughout this year we've usually we get like one good one bad two decent two okay i think these are two of the better ones these are two of the ones that are both very usable he's going to be the best defensive tackle most likely and of course the best fullback so right there alone that already makes a big difference in the game whether or not you guys shoot to use them but the, as you can see this week was more of a and a third party position kind of week like fullback and defensive tackle the two of the last positions you actually like to buy at least most people but guys that's about it for the video thank you so much for watching if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button boys turn on that noti bell and if you haven't already make sure to hit that like button comment down below 50k to enter the giveaway and i'll be announcing winners probably the following morning because tomorrow will be the last day and then the following morning i'll probably announce them but that's about it thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoy i'm out see you guys next video